I've got one of the largest puppies here. Would you believe that Satchmo, the Irish Wolfhound, is only five months old? <laughs> I can't believe it either. We're gonna see how well he's doing on his training today. Specifically, I wanna see how Satchmo does around distractions. I hope to teach him a trick today. And I wanna see how well he responds to play as currency. Click thumbs up for Satchmo. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and pick up a copy of my book, Oh Boy, Dog Training Revolution, so that you have all of the information you need at your fingertips to raise the perfect dog. I have no idea what's in this box. BarkBox is a monthly subscription service for really unique dog toys and treats. Looks like this month's theme is back to school. Satchmo, what is this? It's milk. I mean, who would ever predict that this would be something a dog would like? And this is what I love about BarkBox. What's this? Only one at a time, dude. A little toy like this can be really neat because it's unusual. You have like an unusual squeak. <laughs> And then there's this crinkly sound in it, which can be really enticing to many dogs. My doggy soft baked cookies. They're apple duck flavored too. Can't go wrong with apple duck flavored. If for some reason your dog doesn't love something in your bark box, just let them know and they'll send you something your dog absolutely loves. You can get a free bark box by going to barkbox.com slash Zach George. I'll have a link in the description. So for example, if you sign up for say six bark boxes, they'll actually send you seven. Irish wolfhounds were actually originally bred to hunt wolves. Isn't that crazy? They are the tallest of all dog breeds. They can reach as high as seven feet when on their hind legs. Every dog though, regardless of their breed, has their own personality, and that's the most important thing to remember. Now, Satchmo is off to a good start, but I'd like to see how far along he is in his training and what I can help him with. So we've got a lot to do today, don't we? Mwah. Since eye contact is vital, I'd like to see how Satchmo is doing when I ask him to look at me while he's distracted. Because remember, if I can get his eyes on me, I can guide him a lot easier in future training. For example, if you ever hope to have an off leash dog, you've got to have the leave it, look at me combo really solid. Look at me, not working too well, is it? Can't get his eyes on me when I put a treat in front of him. That's what we've got to improve on because obviously, if I can't get his attention on me with just a treat in front of him, how am I gonna get his attention on me when a more significant distraction comes around? So you can see he's leaving it alone right now, but can I get his eyes on me? That's the important part. Up here, oh, almost, he glanced at me. I actually could have rewarded that, but I'm gonna try and get a, yes, right there. I'm not gonna miss my second chance to get it. Now I'm gonna try throwing it, giving it motion. Things that move are a lot more distracting for most dogs. And by teaching them to think from the inside out rather than forcing them to do something, you're teaching your dog how to reason through situations like this. Yes, good, up here. Yes, good work. And I'm leaving that treat there by design to let him know, I know you want that, but even though you want that, you still need to pay attention to me up here. Yes, good. And I'm letting him know it pays to pay attention, see? So again, I'm gonna make it real tempting by moving it around. Remember, dogs are really excited by things that move. Leave it alone. Now, eyes up here, there it is, right there, yes. So this is looking good. And see, the goal is to gradually work up to greater and greater distractions. Right now, I'm throwing treats. I can throw this package over here. I even have a book I can throw over here. Look at that, and then all that, leave it alone. Satchbook, look at me. Yes, good job and really light up when they listen to you. By getting his attention on me when he's distracted in small situations like this, it buys me time when in a real world scenario, like say at the park and a dog comes up, to tell him, look at me, stay, or look at me, come here. Or in the case of encountering a new strange person, look at me, go say hi. So you want them checking in with you at first so that you can direct them in every little situation for that first year of training. Let's see if we can teach Satchmo a trick. Now I think every dog needs to know how to shake. And I was noticing that when I was training him a little earlier, he was kind of offering his paw. This is a great opportunity to now put a word to it, shake, just like that. That's called capturing a behavior. That is when they do something without you prompting them to do it. I'm gonna start being a little bit more disciplined on when I reward him too. So let's say we only want him to use this foot for shake. Yes, shake, good job. So I'm only gonna reward when he lifts this paw. I'm just gonna wait, you can see, oh man, those wheels are turning. Look at his eyes right there. He's thinking, I'd like to get the behavior many times in a row before I introduce the term shake before he uh, does the shaking motion. 
resist the urge to say, shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna raise the bar even further. I'm not gonna reward on shake unless I ask for it. Shake. Yes, good. And you'll find that if you just wait it out sometimes, if they look like they're thinking about doing it, there's a really good chance they will. Clearly, Satchmo is motivated by food, but is he motivated by play? That's what we're gonna find out right now. Oh, look at this, right into it, look at that. Now, if your dog wasn't this interested in the toy right away, then you would do what you could to spark his interest by moving it around and making it exciting like that. Kind of a little bit of keep away at first is a really good way to entice the dog, but let them win. Don't get, don't make the game too hard for them at first. Look at this instantly, I love it. The reason tug of war is such a powerful currency is because most dogs instinctively like to play it and they seem to find great joy and satisfaction. Imagine all those neurochemicals going on in his brain right now, that joy and how that greatly intensifies his desire to play and interact with you. That's key when teaching a dog. But tug is only half the equation. If I'm ever to have any success with using tug of war as a training tool, he's gotta be able to let go when I ask him. So in order to get him to let go, we'll just make the game really boring. And when he lets go, I'm gonna immediately reignite the game. Yes, good. Right there, he just let go for a brief moment and I'm not gonna be stingy and put it behind my back and ask him to sit. I'm just gonna reignite the game, at least at this point in this training. All right, let go. Making it boring. Uh-uh. Yes, good. Nice work. Get it. It's so fun playing with a big klutzy puppy like this. What does this mean from a training perspective? Well, let's see if we can get him to work for Tug. Get it. All right, let go. Yes, sit. Yes, good, I'll take it. He was going into a down, but I'm not picky right now. I just like the fact that he's being compliant and I'm able to reward with tug of war. I'm gonna give him a four or five second play session with the tug toy. For a dog that's willing to play tug of war, there is probably no greater reward than tug when training. So anywhere you can incorporate this in your training, do your best to try to do that. Pick up your free bark box. I'll have a link in the description. Click thumbs up for Satchmo. He did a fantastic job. Subscribe to my channel and hey, get a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. It's an Amazon bestseller. You'll love it. Satchmo was incredibly fun to work with. I gotta say guys, the videos have been doing really great lately. Thank you so much for choosing the Dog Training Revolution to learn about dogs. Thank you also so much to our Patreon supporters for providing funding for these videos too. Check out my last couple of videos. Learn how to teach your dog to ring a bell to be let outside. It's easier than you think. Maybe you like giant dogs. Check out Theo. He is a sight to see and he's also deaf. I'll give you tips on working with a dog they can't hear. Make sure you click thumbs up. See you guys next time.